Nigeria's education system faces an alarming crisis with 10.2 million children of primary school age and another 8.1 million of junior secondary school age out of school and 74% of children aged 7 to 14 lacking basic reading and math skills. This crisis is compounded by increasing attacks on schools with 19 documented incidents in 2022 and 2023, leading to the closure of 113 schools in Borno, Adamawa and Yobe State due to insecurity. This stark reality highlights the urgent need for combined action to protect education nationwide. Here's the report. While the education crisis in Nigeria affects both primary to tertiary level, the most affected, according to research of children across the country, such as girls, children with disabilities, or children from the poorest households in street situations. Others are affected by displacement or emergencies, as well as children in geographically distant areas who are all disproportionately affected by the education crisis. The chief challenge confronting the education in Nigeria is funding. And uh, without fund, not much can be achieved. And it has become a very serious problem now, especially in the tertiary institutions, because of the level of knowledge acquisition at that level. Skill and knowledge acquisition that require that major facilities should be in place. And the areas of study majorly affected, not that others are not affected, but most pronouncedly affected the science and technology. Science and technology. Because to complement teaching, there ought to be well-equipped laboratories and those ones are required to drive research and innovation. So where you find academic staff threatening to go on strike in the universities, most of the time, it is not about the lecturers being selfish, asking for increase in salary. It goes beyond that. It is chiefly because they are incapacitated to do what they are being paid to do. Because in most cases, the facilities to enhance teaching what we can call teaching aids are not available. And also, you have the overstretch of the laboratories and classrooms by students to be taught. And quite recently, because the power to employ staff have, has been taken away from the university authorities. You can have a dwindling number of lecturers, dwindling number of lecturers, because as they retire, as the older ones retire, not frequently do you have replacement of the manpower. Innovation has to do with coming up with a new idea, a new concept. And it takes understanding of a process to come up with a new idea. As Nigeria prepares to implement its revamped skills curriculum for basic education in January 2025, 
inadequate infrastructure and a lack of modern technology are threatening its effective execution. Critical facility shortages across schools have posed challenges to successful implementation. Recall earlier reports indicate that Nigeria is set to introduce 15 new trades into the primary education curriculum to enhance the skills of primary and junior secondary pupils. And that means the government will have to channel resources to have an enabling environment to achieve that goal. Nigeria's education system can be transformed through adequate funding to ensure schools are safe. The application of gender responsive policies, including recruitment of female teachers and improved facilities for girls. The creation of multiple and flexible learning pathways for students such as digital and transferable skills learning. The integration of foundational numeracy and literacy in Quranic schools and teacher training in the latest methodologies. Anne Repinitier reporting for Captain TV News, Ondo.